In the heart of Pennsylvania, there once lived a man whose name still echoes through the halls of history. He was a man of wealth and power, who built an empire on the sweetest of treats, yet his private life remained shrouded in secrecy. His name was Milton Hershey, and his story is one of intrigue, controversy, and wonder. From humble beginnings to the heights of success, Hershey's journey was a tumultuous one, fraught with challenges and hidden depths. Let's begin. Milton S. Hershey was born on September 13, 1857 in Derry Township, Pennsylvania, into a family of Swiss-German descent. His father, Henry Hershey, was a hard-working and ambitious man who owned several businesses throughout his life, including a farm, a gristmill, and a sawmill. Despite his family's modest means, Hershey's parents were determined to provide their children with a good education and a solid foundation for the future. As a child, Hershey attended several different schools, but he never completed his formal education. He was not interested in farming and showed a greater interest in candy making from an early age. At the age of 14, Hershey began an apprenticeship with a Lancaster County candy maker named Joseph Royer. He learned the basics of candy making and quickly developed a talent for the craft. After completing his apprenticeship, Hershey worked for several other candy makers before striking out on his own. In 1886, he established the Lancaster Caramel Company, which quickly became a success. Hershey's caramels were known for their high quality and consistency, and he soon found himself with a thriving business. Despite his success in the caramel business, Hershey was always looking for new opportunities to expand his horizons. In 1893, he visited the World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago, where he saw a German chocolate-making exhibit and learned about a new process for making milk chocolate that was being developed in Switzerland. This experience would prove to be a turning point in Hershey's life, as it sparked his interest in chocolate-making and set him on the path to creating one of the world's most beloved brands. The exhibit showcased the latest innovations in chocolate-making including a new process for combining cocoa powder, sugar, and condensed milk to create a smooth, creamy chocolate that was less bitter than traditional chocolate. Hershey was fascinated by this new process and saw an opportunity to use it to create a new kind of chocolate that would appeal to American consumers. He spent the next several years experimenting with the Swiss process, investing heavily in new equipment and refining his techniques. He hired a team of experts to help him perfect his recipes, and he traveled to Europe to study the latest developments in chocolate making. Despite the challenges and setbacks he encountered along the way, Hershey remained committed to his vision of creating a high-quality milk chocolate that would be affordable and accessible to the average American consumer. He poured his energy and resources into this project, determined to succeed where others failed. In 1900, Hershey introduced his new milk chocolate to the world, and it was an instant success. Consumers loved the smooth, creamy texture and the rich, chocolatey flavor, and Hershey's milk chocolate quickly became one of the most popular chocolates in America. Hershey continued to innovate and improve his products, introducing new flavors and variations over the years, but his milk chocolate remained the cornerstone of his business and the foundation of his legacy. Hershey was a man who was deeply committed to producing high-quality chocolate products at an affordable price. He knew that his success depended on the ability to produce chocolates that would appeal to the average American consumer, and he was willing to invest heavily in research and development to achieve this goal. Hershey hired a team of experts to help him perfect his chocolate recipes, and he invested in new equipment and technology to ensure that his products were of the highest quality. He experimented with different types of cocoa beans, refined his processing techniques, and developed new flavors and varieties of chocolate to keep up with the changing consumer tastes. After years of hard work and dedication, Hershey had achieved remarkable success with the Lancaster Caramel Company. By 1900, the company was producing more than 1 million pounds of caramels a week, and its products were known throughout the country for their quality and flavor. However, Hershey was ready for a new challenge, and he saw an opportunity to expand his business into the world of chocolate. To fund this new venture, Hershey sold the Lancaster Caramel Company in 1900 for an astonishing $1 million. This was a huge sum of money at the time, and it gave Hershey the financial resources he needed to build his new chocolate factory. With this money, he purchased a large plot of land in Derry Church, Pennsylvania, and began construction on what would become one of the most iconic buildings in American history. Hershey spared no expense in building his new factory, outfitting it with the latest equipment and technology to ensure that he could produce the highest quality chocolate possible. He also created a company town to house his workers, which would be named Hershey, Pennsylvania. 
The town was designed to provide a high quality of life for Hershey employees with modern amenities like indoor plumbing and electricity and plenty of opportunities for recreation and education. The new factory was a huge success, producing millions of pounds of chocolate every year and cementing Hershey's place in American history as one of the most innovative and successful entrepreneurs of his time. Despite the many challenges he faced along the way, including a devastating fire that destroyed his factory in 1907, Hershey remained committed to his goal of producing the best possible chocolates at an affordable price. He reinvested his profits back into the company, using the latest advances in technology and production to streamline his operations and reduce costs. Despite his enormous success in the business world, Hershey never forgot his humble roots and was deeply committed to giving back to the community. He believed that everyone deserved a chance to succeed, regardless of their background or circumstances, and he was determined to make a difference in the lives of others. In 1909, Hershey and his wife Catherine established the Milton Hershey School in Hershey, Pennsylvania. The school was a boarding school for underprivileged children, providing them with a safe and nurturing environment where they could receive a high-quality education and learn important life skills. Hershey spared no expense in creating the school, investing millions of dollars in its construction and endowment. The school was designed to provide a well-rounded education with a focus on character development, vocational training, and practical life skills. It also provided a range of extracurricular activities and opportunities for personal growth, including sports, music, and art. Over the years, the Milton Hershey School has provided a lifeline for thousands of underprivileged children, helping them to achieve their full potential and succeed in life. Today, it remains one of the most respected and successful boarding schools in the country, and it continues to be supported by the Hershey Trust, a charitable foundation established by Hershey himself. Hershey's philanthropic efforts didn't stop with the Milton Hershey School, however. He also supported a wide range of other charitable causes, including hospitals, churches, and community organizations. His generosity and compassion earned him the respect and admiration of people all over the world, and his legacy of giving continues to inspire others to make a difference in their communities. However, there are some controversies. Over the years, there have been allegations of mistreatment and abuse of students at the school. Some former students have claimed that they were subjected to physical abuse, as well as neglect and poor living conditions. In 2011, a group of alumni filed a lawsuit against the school alleging that they had been abused by staff members during their time at the school. The school has taken steps to address these allegations, including creating a task force to investigate claims of abuse and implementing new policies and procedures to protect the safety and well-being of students. The school also established a confidential hotline for reporting abuse or neglect, and it has made efforts to improve communication and transparency with alumni and other stakeholders. Despite these efforts, the allegations of abuse at the Milton Hershey School continue to be a source of controversy and concern. The school has acknowledged that there were instances of abuse in the past and has apologized to those who were harmed. However, some critics argue that more needs to be done to ensure that the school provides a safe and supportive environment for all students, and that the legacy of abuse and mistreatment needs to be fully addressed and acknowledged. Another major issue has been raised in the use of child labor in cocoa production. Many of the cocoa beans used by the Hershey Company are sourced from West Africa, where child labor is prevalent in the cocoa industry. Despite commitments to address this issue, the Hershey Company has faced criticism for not doing enough to eliminate child labor from its supply chain. Another issue that has been raised is the treatment of workers within the Hershey Company. In 2007, workers at the Hershey Company's main chocolate factory in Hershey, Pennsylvania, went on strike to protest the company's use of temporary workers and proposed changes to their health care benefits. The strike lasted for three weeks and ended with a new contract agreement between the company and the union representing the workers. More recently, there have been concerns about working conditions and labor practices among Hershey's suppliers. In 2019, an investigation by the nonprofit organization Mighty Earth found evidence of labor abuses, including child labor, in the supply chains of major chocolate companies, including the Hershey Company. While the Hershey Company has taken steps to address these issues, including increasing transparency in its supply chain and implementing policies to eliminate child labor, critics argue that more needs to be done to ensure that workers and communities are treated fairly and ethically. The company has acknowledged these concerns and has committed to work with stakeholders to address them. Sadly, Hershey passed away on October 13, 1945 at the age of 88.
His death was a great loss, not only for his family and friends, but also for the entire chocolate industry. Hershey left behind a legacy of innovation, philanthropy, and commitment to quality that continues to inspire people all over the world today. Despite his passing, the Hershey Company continued to thrive thanks in large part to the foundation he laid and all the principles he instilled in the company. His commitment to quality and innovation remained a driving force for the company, which continued to invest heavily in research and development and to stay ahead of the competition. Today, the Hershey Company is one of the largest and most successful chocolate companies in the world, with a reputation for producing some of the finest chocolates and candies available anywhere. Hershey's legacy lives on in the company he founded, as well as in the many charitable organizations he supported throughout his life.